Okay, uh, my name is Ronan Byrne and I'm with HEA Net. Some of you may be aware of us, some of you may not, so I'll assume nothing. Um, and uh, we are the, uh, we're Ireland's National Education and Research Network and we connect, if you do, this, do the math, about 800 at first and second level and 200,000 plus at uh, third and fourth level. Um, users, learners across the, um, across the, the nation. Um, and we manage the, the actual backbone network. So really we're talking about the infrastructure and we're, I'm interested in enabling that infrastructure to meet some of your aspirations that you've shared today. Um, so we connect all the universities, seven universities, the IITs, and also the schools. So there may be operation, uh, collaboration opportunities with schools as well. We connect all 4,000 schools. Um, and when we say we connect all the universities and IOTs, there's probably in the region of 600,000 or 600 managed connections from 100 gig, 100 meg, 1 gig up to 10 gig. So it's, it's one of the biggest um, networks in the state, um, up there with some of the other leading telcos. Um, as well as connectivity, um, we do provide a range of services, and I'd encourage you to visit our, our website and look at all the services. But some I just wanted to feature um, is the, the managed Moodle service, which is used by two of the universities and eight and six other um, IOTs. Uh, we do also some smaller sort of Moodle offerings through our Plesk service, if some of you are familiar with that. But the enterprise uh, service um, has 24-7 support on it, a recent introduction. Um, and we do a range of other, other services, such as media storage. A lot of the academics will be storing recorded lectures and so forth. And we also this year um, built a plug-in to enable your Moodle and your Blackboard to interface with the, the media service, thus, by, thus saving the storage charge uh, within Moodle, which some of you will be aware of. Um, a little bit of glue we're very proud of in, in the middle between the infrastructure and the applications is something I'd be very keen to talk about today um, when you're looking at your plans for analytics products is identity management. And there's a bit of glue which we do, it's middleware, which, which works underneath the bonnet, I think called Educate, which some of you may be familiar with. Um, but we launched this, I think it's a great example of collaboration, we launched this in 2010, and it was actually quite a difficult sell because it was trying to get all the active directories to uh, uh, interface with the various service providers, which would include your Moodles and your Blackboards and your, your journals and so on and so forth. And we're processing in the region north of 25 million authentications um, currently. So um, the Insight chap mentioned uh, Eduroam as a particular resource, but Educate is another interesting resource because it tracks the user authenticating to the, to the various resources. So you can identify your most popular resources, but inversely, which could be as interesting, you identify those applications which are not so um, commonly used. Um, also of interest, and really what I, this is really more an awareness um, little talk I'm giving here, is you know there's a few planets which may line up here. You've got a national network, which is a private network owned by the sector, I should say. This is a private, um, owned by the sector and funded largely by the HEA. Um, the original shareholders were the seven universities and DIT and the HEA, and it's private to the community. So we, we've mentioned sensitivity of data and privacy of data. So the fact that you're, you're worth, we're working on a private uh, network uh, is one assurance, but it also means we can do other things on top of that, be it VPNs or encryption or whatever, whatever else we need to do to try and offer a privacy assurance. Um, I wanted to mention also we established a new subsidiary um, last year called EduCampus, and that is managing the MIS campus services of the 13 IOTs. Some of you may recall that under the guise of OnCame. Um, but that is now EduCampus as a subsidiary of HEANet. And the ambition, the setting up of EduCampus is a signal from the stakeholder of the next evolution of MIS managed services. And there we're talking about student systems, financial systems, library systems, digitry, and other, other systems. Um, a really, it's a commitment to try, a stated ambition to try and grow that footprint of MIS applications beyond the, the IoT sector. Um, but you can see how, if you look at your, your commonality of student systems, the IoTs all use Banner, and many of you use Banner. We have eight managed Moodles on HENS footprint. So what we're interested in as a shared service provider is the cookie cutter or the aggregator. So if you're looking for a plug-in to a particular analytics product, it would be great if we could have a conversation to identify what the prioritization of that plug-in is, and we may be able to help you there. 
Indeed, in your selection of a vendor or a product, we'd also be very keen to talk to you to make sure it talks the middleware language that we talk and educate, which means it's federate, federated, and you get the added bonus of single sign-on, so you're not signing on every, every time. Um, so it's in that we, we can, we, there's an infrastructure offering which we can leverage, and that's the key thing we like to do, but also in selecting your particular analytics products or collaboration around designing products, we'd be very interested to talk to you. Um, as well as classic brokerage. We do a lot of brokerage and procurement, which is establishing uh, frameworks. Uh, two examples I'd give. One last year, sorry, this year, feels like last year, uh, we brokered a community agreement with Oracle, um, which obviously gives you the, the BI and other analytics tools as well. And that is a first, it's a precedent because we have these seven universities, well, six of the universities and uh, EduCampus represented the IOTs, but we've managed to negotiate predictive pricing from Oracle. I'll say that again, predictive pricing from Oracle, which is not an easy thing to achieve with Oracle. And they're quite, quite, a, quite a, uh, an aggressive company when it comes to their pricing. Um, so we've agreed that, but it gives predictive pricing out to 2020. Um, the other procurement example I'd give, we, we, um, we're a national education network, we're a family of European networks, indeed global networks. Most developed countries would have a national educational research network. But we're just, um, we've just completed a framework for a cloud catalog, which is an infrastructure as a service catalog, which means we will be able to provide you with a procurement friendly uh, conduit for Amazon services, Microsoft Azure services, and other services as well. Um, so that may be of interest if you're, if you're looking to design particular platforms or analytics on top of that. What else did I want to say? Um, yeah, I've said really, the, 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 the opportunities I'm identifying really is we have, we have a number of commonality already. And I think to get the collaboration, you need convergence. But there's an amount of convergence out there already, which I mentioned around the Moodle piece. Um, there's potential to offer analytics Moodle plugin because we manage that, but we'd also be looking at to see can we do something around Blackboard or any other common common products um, and try and leverage the economies of scale and the design of that. And then the banner, the fact that banner is sitting in a building across the road from us and managed by EduCampus may give another opportunity. The key message here is um, HEANET has been, I would argue, is one of the most successful shared services uh, vehicles in the public sector, never mind the education sector. And it's built on the success, as we have done for schools, of leveraging that asset for economies of scale and to reuse the, the, the investment in the public purse as best we can. So really it's an invitation to say we have a platform which underpins a million learners. And if there's any opportunity that we can to collaborate, we'd be very happy to do that. And I couldn't say collaboration without bringing our newly inked strategy which has collaboration to key to development and success. Thanks a minute.